It's a bad man thing. It's body, baby. V kills. Let's go. I'm gonna make you bounce like a hurricane. Hey guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Frank T or Franny finally back with another freaking video. <laughs> Anywho, in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys um, how I laid my lace front wig that I got from Amazon. I have like all the details and stuff linked down below in the description in the description box, and I also I put it on the side of here as well because I'm not exactly sure what unit this. Yeah, y'all, I just end up putting like some loose curls in it. Which I thought was super duper pretty. But, um, yeah. but anyways, before we get started, y'all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification button so you can be notified every single time your girl uploads this video. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And yeah, let's get straight to the video. Alright you guys, so the hair came in this box and his hair is by a company called B O so B Os. I really don't know I know I really don't know how to pronounce it. And it came with a wig cap of course and then the hair itself and this little survey thingy don't really know and then of course the instructions. Now this hair is a 20 inch. Like I said you guys should check my description box. I have more details about the hair and this is a loose body wave. It's Brazilian and it's also human. It came with three combs and a strap as well the strap is so the strap is so convenient y'all but i didn't end up using the strap because i freaking lost the damn strap <laughs> so i just um i didn't use i wasn't able to use the strap all right you guys so the hair did come pre-plugged pre and the knots came bleached as well um if i were you i would go back in and bleach i would go back in and bleach the knots and just pluck it a little bit more which i did not do now that i'm looking at this video i kind of regret it i feel like i should have customized it just a little bit more um as i said this hair is a body wave hair but i am blow drying it straight because i wanted to do some loose curls and i apply this moroccan argan oil just for some shine and heat protection and i was initially gonna wear this hair in the side part but girl once i put it on i was like oh no she is definitely a middle part okay so right here y'all i'm just putting some um some layers just to frame my face a little bit and now I am applying the wig. Well, I took the wig off because the day I forgot that I lost the damn strap and the wig was way too tight. So I just had to use the tiny adjustable strap that's in the back of the wig. Um, so I just used, I ended up just using that one and I had to put, I had to lay it down with some glue, which I did not want to, but it was all right all right right here so this is how the wig is looking on my head y'all as you can tell i feel like i should have went in and plucked the hairline just a little bit more so a little bit too full for my liking but i was just kind of super busy that day and i was kind of in a rush all right you guys so now i'm just um cleaning off my forehead from mini dirt or um you know oils and now I am cutting the lace. Child, I end up cutting my forehead, y'all, because the damn shears were so freaking sharp. <laughs> so please be careful, y'all, if y'all um, cutting y'all lace with the shears. And then I end up going in with my brow razor. I just like how the brow raise, razor just give you like a natural jetted like hairline, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, I, feel, I felt like you would have to work a little bit harder trying to get that jetted girl as y'all can tell i freaking cut my ear tabs off y'all and i probably should have plucked this a little bit more but it is what it is now <laughs> i'm gonna just try to make it work now i'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down and just see how it's looking all right y'all so now i'm gonna take in my ghost bun glue and i'm applying the glue um around my hairline um but i try not to touch my hair but of course some of the glue got on my um hair but that's okay as well and right now so i'm just blowing the glue until it's clear and i also applied a second layer as well and i use my rat tooth comb just to smear it back a little bit all right you guys so now i am applying the lace to the glue 
like I mentioned, I did um, cut my freaking ear tabs. I don't even know how the hell I did that, but child, we're going to work with it. <laughs> All right, so the little um, areas that the, the, the wig didn't stick, I'm just um, adding excess glue to it so that it can stick better. All right, guys, so this is how the lace is looking. Of course, I will have to apply some foundation so the lace can match my um, match my skin tone. I wasn't 100%, um, I wasn't 100 um, happy with how I laid the lace. One, because I freaking cut the ear tabs off. I felt like it would have laid a lot better. All right, so I applied a little bit of my Afro-G mousse, and now I am just customizing my baby hairs now this wig did come with baby hairs but then of course i customized a little bit more and i felt like i should have cut my baby hairs a little bit shorter now that i'm looking at the video but it is what it is what it is i can always just go back in and just kind of like customize it a little bit more off camera and right here is where i'm trying to hide the fact that my ear tabs are cut off Alright you guys, so I went ahead and tied my edges down um, with my silk scarf. But later on, I went back in and tied them down with this, um, what is it called? The styling wrap strips. And this was actually later on that night. Um, and I am cutting it off. Alright, right here y'all, I'm just applying a little bit of the makeup to the lace to blend into my skin. Which I didn't really do a very good job. <laughs> but I mean, it looks okay. And so right here, I am just parting my hair in a middle part and applying more of the Afro-G styling mousse just to lay those baby hairs. And now just to give it a little bit more of a sleek look, I am going in with my hot comb. Uh, I'm so glad that I invested in this hot comb, y'all, because this really like lay your freaking hairs. Like this in a wax stick, like yes, this will have your, your hairs looking so laid. All right, y'all, so I went in with some concealer because you can tell the part is kind of like grayish and it does not match my skin tone at all. All right, so now I'm just taking the back section and I'm about to start curling my hair. All right, so this is a one and one fourth inch. I think it's a one and one and one fourth fourth inch wand that I actually got from the hair, hair supply store. Um, if I see us, if I find a similar one, I have a link down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so on the right side of the head, on, on the right side of my head, y'all, I was curling, the, I was curling under, under. And then uh, on the left side of my head, I was curling away from my face, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then I just kind of like to hold the curl a little bit so it can, so it can, I just like to hold the curl as it cools down so that the curl can last a little bit longer. Enter the place 
Alright guys, so I'm at my last piece. Oh, well this is my last piece. <laughs> But one thing about this here, y'all, I feel like it doesn't really hold a curl that well. So just be cautious of that. Um, and I'm just taking my flat iron and I'm just going over the pieces just to flatten it out a little bit. And I took more Moroccan oil just to give it a little bit more of a shine. And this stuff smells so damn good. Like, I love this oil. All right, guys, so now I'm just kind of like finger combing my curls because I want it definition, but I want it to, I want it them to look more loose and effortless. And then I went in with my freeze spray um, just to try to hold my curls into place because like I said, this, this hair don't really hold a, a good, don't really hold a curl, which is unfortunate, but child, it is what it is. <laughs> And I'm just going in, just um, recurling some pieces that that failed. And right here, I'm just playing around with, you know, my hair just to get it how I want to get it. I kept playing with it because I just couldn't get it right. <laughs> um, and right here, so I'm applying some of the wax, which really help lay your wigs as well, y'all. So I really do recommend getting the wax in the hot comb. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys did. If you guys did like um, this hair review, um, just let me know. Um, yeah, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace. Let go. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. It's the original Batman. One, two.